Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is a barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of excitement and expectation. Stadio Olimpico, a venue that has an old-school feel about it. And we rise now for the English national anthem. Impressive match that. of this formation Jim Begley well the beauty of this system Peter is that you can offer both a back five and the front two having sufficient strength at either end of the team where you need it equally the wing backs can supplement the numbers in midfield to make it a five so I think it affords managers the ultimate flexibility and I think if I were really pushed on what I'd like most this would be the uh, this would be the system we go then Jim you've played in games of this nature who can make the difference yeah Harry Kane he's a deadly finisher Peter obviously but he can contribute much more than that for his team he's got the physical presence to hold the ball up and the awareness to bring pretty much everyone else into play his best attributes however might be his his enthusiasm his energy and his desire to win because those things become infectious to others. Yes, he's certainly the one who carries the hopes of his team. Trippier gets it back. It's a good run down the right. Where could this lead? <laughs> Trippier tries to switch the play. especially adventurous early on tries to locate someone up front and here's Yarmolenko he'll hit it oh fine stop from the keeper the keeper really dug out his defence then a magnificent effort yeah, they've seen lots of the ball trying to go for it a bit a bit of creativity and adventure Slid it through. Chance! Goal! England! The breakthrough strike. Perfect placement. The one place the keeper could reach. Now that's what I call finishing. Right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. England themselves into the lead. He's just gone and reminded us yet again of what a threat he carries. Oh, good 
good interception. Look to the keeper and try something new. Keeper sends it forward. And try as they might, they just couldn't get into an attacking area. Sure. Rice goes looking. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Hoists it forward. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Hardly anything between the sides. And the score is 1-0. That is as far as they're going to go. Yarmolenko. Now a chance to break. Hit long and direct. Zinchenko. Well read, he sorted that out. He's tried one. It's broken loose, and it's played forward. Sterling with a long pass. Stepanenko. He's made sure that that won't get through. Rice. It's a promising ball. Kane. Really, really! The referee brings the first half to a close. So there you have it, a close fourth half of football. But Robert still had its moments and ultimately produced just one goal. A good and decent game up to now. Well, that certainly pleased the fans and the players. And the second half gets underway. Well, 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. It's wrestled off the ball. Greenish demonstrating fabulous determination. He just will not be beaten. Trippier. to win it back. Zinchenko. Both sides a bit lacking in intent. Greenish has created one goal already. And the shot! Good finish, the odds were against him, little matter. But I think that defence there thought they were in good position, and they had it where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked the score in position when it didn't see him on. It's really crafty business, though. England have turned to their bench, and we're going to have a substitution. That has certainly made things interesting. Well, they're back on level terms, so the guessing game goes on. As to what will happen from here, I've no idea. Played out to the right. minutes play and that's the end of that it all started well enough 
Now it's Kane. And it's Sterling. Tries to dink it in. Hit into the middle. It's a brilliant interception. And Sterling! He's done very well to get to that. Well, as Tesco Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. Another change here. And that has been clubbed away. A buccaneering run from the defender. So it's going to be another corner. <laughs> the changes then in quick succession. off the ball there promising move that good inroads into enemy territory but no joy a reprieve albeit perhaps momentary England making consecutive changes here Kane good amongst the goals he's being taken off now well has he done enough since his goal is the feeling that he's lost his appetite for another. It's difficult to be sure exactly what the thinking is, but his race is certainly run now. Just needed to be better than that, and he knows it. He's put it on the right now. What's on? Calvert Lewin. It's one! Oh, that is rather wayward. All he'll be thinking is, please, ground. Swallow me up. England making another change here. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. it towards the front oh, well intercepted really alert to the danger James Sterling he's good for it oh what about that and that may just do it oh, the invitation was received with such a clever run and he had that defense in, in utter confusion So here comes the substitution. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honor shift. England take the lead. Now it's just a question of holding on. There's still a bit left in it, Peter, but they should find the necessary to avoid a slip-up now. Calvert Lewin. Yeah, it's safe to say that they just need to manage this to secure the win now. Yarmolenko gets it out to the wing. Here's the chance to cross. Cut out in the nick of time. Almost there, and the players can feel it. Sterling plays it forward. That's it. England and that on top. Hard four, impossible to predict. In the end, though, only the result mattered. Thrilling, nail-biting, perhaps frustrating until the...